A new Pixel 6a deserves a new screen protector. Let's put this one on. Dave Taylor here with the brand new Google Pixel 6a. It's a really nice phone. You can see it has a very nice slim design. I have a review, I have an unboxing. Please check that stuff out on my channel. But I wanna talk about the glass because the front of this, Google decided to use Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Now that's not the latest generation and it's not the toughest glass in the world. So my conclusion was if I want my 6A to continue to be in really great shape, I need a screen protector. So Zag sent me this. This is their brand new Zag Glass Elite for the Google Pixel 6A. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and install it and see how it goes because they have the easy apply install. So I will say that it is a case friendly screen and it has reinforced edges and they have their clear print smudge free um, coating on the screen so your oily fingers don't leave fingerprints that's good and the glass is five times stronger than regular glass screen protectors so yes you can find a much lower cost screen protector for your pixel but if you really want to give it the best possible protection that's exactly what they have here now one other cool thing is it has an antimicrobial treatment. How cool is that? All right, let's see what's in this box. So there is the easy apply frame, and this is pretty easy. You basically put the phone in the frame, and that's our first step. Well, actually, that's our second step. We'll get there in a second. And then in here, I'm going to guess, is the actual screen protector. And not um, my bad. This is the screen protector. This is a little warranty and instructions, but I know how to do this, so we're not going to read their instructions. So therefore, what's in here should be, let's see, we have a dust removal sticker, we have a cleaning wipe, and we have a lint-free cloth. So these are arrayed in front of me, all the pieces that you need. Let me take this one out too, so you can see this is the entire kit they send you. So they don't just send you the screen and say, good luck, I hope it works. They really make sure you're gonna get a great result. So I will tell you that the very first step is to go wash your hands. Wash them really well so that when you feel your fingertips, there's no oils. It doesn't last long because our hands have a tendency to oil up because that's one of the, I guess, the skin's defense mechanisms or something. But be that as it may, you really want to have clean hands. And then you want the front of your screen, obviously, to be nice and clean, too. Let me not have that upside down. What's going on here? Um, there we go. And so now, if we look on the frame, I believe there's a top. Yep, it says top on the top edge. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top of the phone against the top of that. And if you look, let me pull the screen protector out, just so, since we're going to need it anyway. Then the screen protector actually has holes on the top and bottom, and they're going to line up with the holes on the tray. So they're going to make the job really easy. But you want to make sure there's no specks of dust, there's no stray hairs, there's nothing, nothing, nothing on your screen. So, if we did use their instructions, place phone, peel tab, so let's see, place phone, okay, so we need to clean, alcohol wipe, then the cloth, then the sticker. So, we'll use the alcohol wipe, which they refer to as the cleaning wipe. Uh, I'm not sure how much alcohol is actually in here. Um, and it's basically just a wet nap like what you would get at a barbecue joint. And I'm going to use this to clean my phone. And you can see I have a tendency to leave my phone on when I do this. I know a lot of people get um, testy about me doing that. And they say you should turn your phone off to do this. But in my experience, I like to see the edges of the screen as I'm placing the screen protector to make sure I'm getting it right. So now... We use the lint-free cloth to basically dry off all of the smears that the alcohol wipe gave us. 
So this is all looking good. You can see it's pretty straightforward, right? And then one more step before we're ready to do the actual work is this is just a sticky thing. So we're just gonna do this just to triple sure, make sure that we don't have any spots of dust anywhere at all. So that all looks good. Now we're ready to actually put the screen protector on. And it says, peel this layer first. Avoid touching adhesive. All right, so let's see. We peel the layer and then we're gonna put that down and there's no top or bottom on it. Oh, I see. There's a tiny little notch that we're gonna line up with the camera at the top of the phone. So I'm gonna put the bottom ones in the bottom hole and the top ones in the top hole. And then you can't really see it unfortunately, but it actually adheres. It just sort of spreads out all by itself. Now there's a tiny air bubble here, but you can literally just sort of push it off to the side. And when you do it the right way, there it is, it's gone. So literally, Let's see, I'm using the glare of the light to double check. It's all perfect. So now all I need to do is take the top part off and I have, I'll take it even out of here, I have the perfect screen protector installed. It has gone on beautifully and when I look at it from an angle and everything, it's exactly perfect. It's perfectly square. There are no air bubbles. There are no defects at all. In fact, really, I'm not even going to notice it in about five minutes and it will never be anything I think about again, except it will make my Pixel 6a tougher and stronger. And that's exactly what you want it to do. And does it get in the way of the fingerprint sensor? Well, let's find out. So here's my fingerprint sensor. It's a little awkward because it's my thumb. Yeah, let's see, let me do this again. So, <laughs> try doing it this way. So here's the fingerprint sensor and it's unlocked. So it doesn't get in the way of the fingerprint sensor. It doesn't get in the way of anything. It just makes your phone safer. And I should also mention that it's case friendly. So I can now put this in a case, which I'm going to do, cause I like this Pixel 6a. I want it to be strong and tough for as long as I possibly can. I don't want cracks or damage or shattered screens or any of the stuff that can happen. And that's everything. It's super straightforward. I found it really easy and a very non-stressful install. You saw every step I took, except you didn't see me wash my hands, but you know, you can wash your hands. I'm pretty sure you got that wired at this point. So the only thing we need to talk about is the price. But before we get to the price, I'm going to ask if you could subscribe to my channel, a click or a tap on that red subscribe button, and then turn on notifications, please. And we're connected. Great. So this is the Google Pixel 6a with the Zag Glass Elite um, phone screen <laughs> with, <laughs> let's just say that whole phrase over again, the Pixel 6a with the Zag Glass Elite and it is $49.99, but when I went to the Zag website, it offered me a 20% discount for signing up for their mailing list, which drops 10 bucks off the price. So let's just call this $39.99 at zag.com. It is very low cost insurance to make your phone absolutely way stronger and tougher with zero visible impact. Seems like an entire win. That's all I got. I'm gonna go back to checking out my mail. So I'll have to catch you in my next video.